What's up guys, Call Me Dragon, and we're Dylan here today, and I'm just going to be opening 100 mystery boxes today. I have completely reworked the way the mystery boxes um, work up to this point, and they've been redesigned to basically be able to give you between a minimum loot value of about 4 million gold all the way up to, I mean, there's a few items not even in game yet, so the value is really just unknown. Um, it is important to remember that mystery boxes are supposed to be a gamble, so even though donator tickets are about 8 million apiece, the reason I decided on a 4 to 6 million minimum is because these are supposed to be a gamble, you're not supposed to profit every single time off of these, and it's important to remember that when you're opening these. Um, I do think that they are better than they were before, um, they have a lot of resources and actually useful stuff in them now, so like you can open it and get like, for example, a thousand dark crabs, now maybe you didn't want a thousand dark crabs, but you can at the very least sell those fairly easily or use them for yourself for PVM or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and get started here, I'm not going to talk during the video or anything like that and I'll probably have it sped up with some music behind it, so enjoy. All right, guys, so here is our final loot. I think you'll find that overall these boxes are going to be a lot better now. I've spent a lot of time with another player on the server calculating prices and figuring out what exactly would be worth getting. So, for example, you can get 1,300 noted manta, manta rays, and I believe the exact value of 1,300 noted, noted manta rays comes out to something like 4 million gold. And like I said, it's going to be kind of close to that. It's not going to be precise at exactly it's kind of the same thing for the magic logs um dragon arrows were just kind of guessed on really um but i removed a lot of the cosmetic items so you should mostly be getting stuff such as like infinity like stuff you can actually use um as you can see i did get a few third age items here which is on the rare table the wand is exclusive to the box only um i did get the bloodhound pet which is also exclusive to the box only you can only get it from the mystery box um so that's pretty cool as well um, quite a bit of resources as you can see that's and again that's just kind of how these have been designed um, just to kind of give stuff that's actually going to be useful as like I guess the lesser drops versus just like cosmetic items as like the lesser drops um, hope you guys enjoy the video let me know if you have any questions or suggestions on the boxes and enjoy your day